Wow, okay, this is different too. Fountain Alley, gone. This looks a little bit better. I don't know, it actually kind of looks like exactly as it does across the street. I mean, it looks a little bit better, but I don't think so. I have a feeling that this is not gonna, no, I don't think so. This isn't gonna improve anything at all. This looks the same as it does across the street. This alley was way more active too when I first came down here. I used to call it Crack Alley. Some, when I was in high school, I came to this, this uh, light rail station right here. I stopped like right over there. Man, it was different. They didn't have cameras everywhere or anything. And, and as I'm walking, like there's just like black guys everywhere, mostly just crackheads, heroin addicts. And, and one dude, like, I don't know, he looked like he was probably 60, 65 years old or something. He walks up to me and he's got like a fistful of money and like just, just bills sticking out of it. And, and I'm not sure what he says. He says something to me about some drugs and he asked me if I can get this or that. I can't remember what it was that he said. And then at the same time, like this other black guy who looked not like a crackhead, but probably a crack dealer, but he was all fucking ripped and buff and muscly. He just walks right up to the three of us or to the two of us and he stands there like security or something. And I just looked at him for a second and he's just looking at me, looking down at me. And he's just like, what's up? And I'm like, uh, hey. And then I look back at the older gentleman, cracked out gentleman with a fistful of money. And I'm just like, uh, yeah, no, I don't know anything about that, sorry. And then I, and I continued on my way and I ended up coming, coming this way, coming over here to this, this light rail station. Cause that's the northbound. This is the southbound. This is the way I take to get home. Or at least I used to back in the day when I, when I took the train. So this is all closed up, closed up, closed up. They opened up, I gotta tell you this. Okay, so they, when they opened up a restaurant right here, they opened up this place. It was like some kind of Texas barbecue spot. I think it was right here. But before it was a smoke shop, I guess it just didn't last. Why not? Too many, not enough drug dealers and crackheads up and down this fountain alley, I guess. But after that, and after the smoke shop failed, they opened up this Texas barbecue place and I went in there one time and I saw that their beers, the cheapest beer was 450. And I was just thinking, man, 450, like that's the cheapest beer you have. And you're, you're downtown and you just opened up and you're going straight for those downtown prices. It was like literally one beer, only one beer for 450. Everything else was like $6 and up. And I just knew, I knew it wasn't gonna last. I mean, if, you, if you're gonna open up fresh, especially in this shithole spot right here, you gotta offer, give some people some incentive to wanna come into your, your, your restaurant and buy, especially if you, oh, Texas. The theme was Texas. Texas here. In this shithole, I, people have died here. I've witnessed fights, I've seen blood spill in the streets. This is crap. Now they've improved it, yeah, but it's still crap. Sometimes you improve a place just by getting rid of all the people and all incentives for people to be there. be as easy as that all right let's let's just head over to city hall now excuse me sir can i get a picture with you hey check me out crowman 17 i love your hat yeah it is now here's something a little exciting about me personally you ever wonder where i got this hat right here downtown san jose a lot of people died here. I remember my friend's friend died across the street, got shot right there. God, this was such a shitty club. Oh, how ironic, of course. The place where all the black people die. Black lives matter. Now here's where I got my hat, right next door. <sighs> yes, this is an amazing hat store. It's nothing but reflection. And it's where I got my Stetson. You can see, there it is. I don't know, it's a similar hat though. Those are Stetson's right there on the wall. But yeah, it's a great store. Check it out. Board it up. Board it up. Board it up. So everything's so boarded up and they just keep building. All this development. I can't believe that shit was still there. I used to work there at Liquid Restaurant, Liquid Lounge. Yeah, I worked there for, for, for a short while. It was, uh, 
it was a nightmare. Absolute nightmare. I was pretty much like cleaning up puke and piss and period blood and for, for hours, Saturday night, Friday night. From just, it's disgusting and I, I didn't even know how bad it was and I was making about $4 an hour. The old Houdini smoke shop still here. Those guys are actually pretty cool. We got to know them because we used to work right here at the uh, fixed laptop. Mm, Carl, my brother, we did a lot of we did a lot of work here. This is different. There was this really cute Chinese lady that worked here. I liked her. And here's the game shop. Holy crap! <laughs> Kevin, you're in trouble. No mask. Oh. Doing good. Oh, it looks like that's doing really well too. Oh, it's closed on Wednesdays. Okay. downstairs. Yeah, should I? Yes. Okay. Up, to, up here, then downstairs. It's all your project now. Now, this is some major changes. Look at all this space. I was working back here in this spot. This was all nothing but computers, and I'd be back here trying to organize all these computers. It's just, it actually looks like some kind of a Best Buy or something now. <laughs> and this is where we used to work. The game shop downstairs. You go check it out? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Let's see what's happened. Oh, wow. They painted game shop. So I actually painted these steps, but I changed the colors. It was black and red. I made them black and red all the way down. I guess they changed them to brown and white, but probably for safety. I painted these pipes. I never really could get to finishing them. So, this is the new game shop downstairs. Oh my God. Honestly, I have to say it looks better. I like it. Don't scare the ball, okay? Oh yeah. You oh, filled in the track. <laughs> no more trip hazard. I painted these these cubes down here. Wow. Un oh my god. How were we even working with how little space we had before is I don't understand. This we we can have sports down here, there's so much room. This is unbelievable. This is not at all like I remember. All, the, all this, this was all blocked off with wall. We had this room over here, which I painted. I painted all this stuff on there, but you know, all my paintings and stuff is gone. Which reminds me, I actually had some paintings here that were left here and Kevin never knew what happened to them. And I was selling them for $25 each. I asked him, Kevin, whatever happened to my paintings? You don't know. This is amazing. The new and improved. Let's see all this. Wow, comic books. What? This is more like, uh, what's that, uh, what's that card shop in Campbell? Or, let's see, there's a card shop in Campbell. I can't even remember what it's called. But wow, this is all comic book area. They have a whole section for comic books. And the bobbleheads. Well, so this place is still here. Game shop downstairs, still operating apparently. Not open on Wednesdays. Giving him free advertisement right now. I still want my paintings. But if, you're, if you happen to be downtown San Jose, this is operating. So come check it out. Not on Wednesdays. And they're closed on Sundays too, I'm pretty sure. That's that. Let's get back on the streets. Still haven't made our way to City Hall yet. Seven C Sushi. Because this was before Seven C Sushi, it was it was uh, Godzilla Sushi. Before Godzilla Sushi, it was Ninja Star Sushi. That's when I was in high school. That goes back, but it's always been a sushi shop. Barber shop, that was a good shoe shop, and I was gonna go there to get my shoes uh, rebooted. These ones I'm wearing right now. That's not working out. Boarded up, boarded up. Whatever happened to the psychic?
People start coming to the psychics. I guess she didn't see that coming. SIP, need a, need a bike? Huh. Used to love to come in here and hang out, but mm -hmm. ever since COVID, everything's just been so royal screwed. Look, they're only open Saturdays and Sundays from 4 to 8.30. Unbelievable. <laughs> what kind of what kind of hours are those? Alright, so we're back to City Hall. This is my last live stream. I'm so glad that San Jose is not just erupting into chaos like it did before. It had a very short period of time. You guys saw my live stream when I was down here. Very short period of time where people were acting the fool and apparently pissing off the construction workers here too. And it didn't work out so well from them for them from what I've heard. I'm glad. Those buildings actually look pretty cool. I'm kind of impressed. For the longest time, this is really all you saw when you thought of downtown San Jose. When you look at pictures of downtown San Jose, you see the city hall and this crazy design. And what exactly is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Usually they got that thing running with water. These things right here are just blowing out steam, misting steam into the air, which is actually a huge waste of water. Do you really think that those steam things are cooling anybody off? No, I don't think so. I don't think so at all. So what happened here? God knows. A shattered window, a little bit of vandalism. It's empty. Huh. Okay, I might have heard something about this, that they were trying to sell it. But the design is so flawed that nobody wants it. Again, I'm just, this is just what I've heard. Not based on any, I don't have any facts, I don't have any sources for that. But I heard that they were trying to sell this. And as you can see, it's obviously completely empty. And you can see there's another window over there on the other side that's also been shattered. These windows are not straight. As you can see, they're, they're curved. You gotta get curved windows to replace these windows. So I don't know if this is like homeless shelter over here or something, but ever since I was first coming to San Jose, that's all I ever see over here is just <sighs> bummy looking people. Bummy looking bones. Sweet home. I swear to God, I think that I think that was a chick, and I think she was just chilling in there topless. I think <laughs> well, that's what it looked like to me. So, uh, Martin, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Library. <coughs> they should add a few more syllables to that, make it a little more easier to say. <coughs> Fun times here. This building right here. You go up here to the top of the roof. And I'm sure kids still do it today. For as far as I know, they still do it. There's a security guard. I don't know if it's the same security guard, but people go up there and smoke weed. But at the same time, it's not really illegal anymore. Like, you could just kind of stand on the street and smoke a joint and nobody's really gonna bother you unless you're smoking in a place that somebody would not want you to be smoking a cigarette. All right, so yeah, this is the, this is where it is. We take this elevator right here, take it all the way to the top up there, and we just smoke right there on that balcony. Sometimes up on the top where, where the cars are parked. Those were good times. When I was homeless, <laughs> we'd wake up and we'd come here to the library. You couldn't sleep in the library, so we would just be one of the first people there. Then we would sit there and try and try our hardest to stay awake, or at least if we did fall asleep, be in a position where you couldn't really tell that we were asleep. It was not easy. If they even got the slightest clue that you were asleep, they'd come throw you out. One time I was right here with my buddy, my buddy Joey and our buddy Malcolm. If you guys remember the video of my live stream from when we were checking out the protest downtown San Jose, the guy that was waving the Mexican flag dressed head to toe, like a ninja 
That was Joey, Joey Gomez. I was here with him after high school and our other friend. And we stopped here and we were talking about whether or not one of them could jump off of these stairs with their skateboard. And then out of nowhere, some dude with a camera, like a big expensive cannon comes by. He stops and he starts looking at us, watching us, like waiting, anticipating that one of us is gonna jump it. And so one of our friends notices him and says, are you gonna take a picture of us if we try to jump this? And, she, and he's like, if you try to jump it, I'll try to snap a picture. And it was so worth it. Our buddy Malcolm ran it, jumped it, hit the ground, and the tail end of his skateboard snapped. Right when he hit the ground. So. Somehow we were able to still ride that skateboard around with, with the tail just like that. <laughs> and the back end completely snapped. It was fun. The guy got the picture too. And he, took, he took two pictures, one of him jumping off and then uh, the other of him standing holding the board. I remember I got some, I can't believe, I remember when this opened up, I wasn't sure if it was gonna last and I hoped it did, Tangerine Hair Studio. And I got my, my fiance in high school some tickets. And then for her birthday, I was gonna give them to her and I lost them and I couldn't find them. I looked everywhere. Eventually I was finally able to find them and give them to her. I don't know if she ever used them. The stores are always changing because, I mean, the lease has got to be outrageous. So, nothing ever really lasts. And you always see lots of traffic, people coming through here. The only thing that I've seen that's actually stayed is the post office. That's it. Post office is the only lasting business. Surprise, surprise. When I was in high school, this was like... This was the real spot to hang out. Circle A, still here. I remember when I came by and we saw him. We'd hang out, me and our friends. We'd all sit in front of Circle A. We'd um, skateboard. We'd skateboard right here. Before they put these plants here, we'd all sit along this. And we'd smoke weed. And sometimes, if you were bored, you could just get on the train, come downtown, and sit somewhere in this area. On, on on that spot right there, whatever, over here, wherever. Just sit and wait. And eventually, one of your friends from school is gonna come by. And then I remember one, one day, I came here, I was bored as hell. And I think for like two days in a row, I came and I sat there with nothing to do, no one to hang out with, and didn't see anybody. Didn't see one friend come by, and that was pretty much the end. That's when I stopped coming downtown to Just to hang around, hang out, hang around, and look for people to, that I recognize to hang out with. <laughs> that was pretty much the end of that. But Rosie's and Posies was still here. <laughs> First time I bought some flowers here. Again, my high school fiance. I was getting on the train right here, and the door closed, and I was looking at the store, and I was like, oh, it looks like it's open. And I remember I just stuck my finger right in the door, and the door closed on my finger, and then opened up right away. Like, that's all I did. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get off here. Camera 12. I've seen a good number of movies here. I don't know why it shut down. But I guess it just got done with it. So it's boarded up. My God, all the things that are boarded up. There's just not really anything happening anymore. Here, you know, at first glance, it doesn't seem like it's so run down. But this is quite a... Quite an experience for me to be walking through this much of downtown and seeing so many businesses boarded up. Nothing's, nothing ever works out. I'm like this place right here, this isn't what it, this this will be gone next year. Nothing ever lasts here. This last, Johnny Rockets, people recognize this. So that's always, I think this is probably always gonna be here, even through the COVID disaster. It's probably always gonna be there. Feels like I've been out here for hours. I haven't checked the time, so I don't even know. More vacancy. More vacancy, wow. This is this Japanese store. Everything was outrageously priced over there, but it was like it was like a bed, bath, and beyond. 
but everything was imported from Japan. Didn't last. What a surprise. Bijan Bakery and Cafe. I actually worked for them for a short while. Uh, a very short while when I was working two jobs. And uh, I tell you, man, Milav is not a nice, nice lady. It's just no love in Milav. Oh, how did you train him? Raise them when they're little. From where? How did you find them? It's anywhere. Crows are everywhere. The only place you can't find them is Antarctica. Now he can fly. Yeah. So, anyways, yeah, I was working for Bijan Bakery, and not yet. Sometime, someday. And uh, yeah, she wanted me to memorize all the uh, all the drinks, and I was doing my best to try and memorize the drinks. And so I started writing them down. I had a piece of paper, and I was writing down what, what all the drinks were, like what, what their. Uh, what makes them up, whatever. And anyways, one day, Milav comes up to me and she asks me for the piece of paper that I write down all, all of the, the drinks to help me with. She takes it from my hand as I hold it up and she just rips it up into pieces in front of me and then walks away. I should have just walked off the job and quit right then and there. That was so disrespectful. But anyways, enough of that vision. Anyways, so uh, what do we got? The park, again, another park. This is Cesar Chavez Park. Um, This is where they have Christmas in the park. It really isn't much to see here when they do have Christmas in the park anymore. There's never really anything going on. If you want to see a bunch of homeless people, that you just come to the park. Like you're not gonna, you're not gonna go to a park and not see homeless people. If you want to see kids go to a school, you're not, you're not gonna find kids at, at a park anymore. But we do have like skaters. The skaters, each generation of skaters, they end up coming over here. They still skate year after year. They just keep skating. This was either Peggy Sue's or Susie Q's. I guess both Peggy Sue's and Susie Q's are gone. No more Peggy Sue's, no more Susie Q's. Wow. That means that there isn't any 50s diner in downtown San Jose anymore. Correct me if I'm wrong, please share the address if you know of a 50s diner anywhere near downtown San Jose. I don't think there is one, not anymore. zero for the American flags that were burned back towards the the stairs where I showed you guys the skater incident that's the direction we walked in while it seems like the majority more than half of everybody ends up coming this way and got caught up in conflict at, between this intersection and I, I guess this intersection, maybe even one a little bit further. But I tell you, of all the changes that I've seen, what I haven't seen any anything yet of is that this this Google campus that um, Google's supposedly turning downtown into. There's a lot of old Victorian houses that are fairly run down they're not very well taken care of but they are still uh, historical landmarks well i don't know if they're like registered as historical landmarks but still they're old victorian houses well over 100 years old and they're gonna google's tearing them down for their google campus i don't know what to say i don't really want this google campus but at the same time like those houses should be restored why not just restore the buildings and nobody's doing it? If you don't, if you don't maintain your stuff, it's going to collapse or someone's going to come along and collapse it for you. And, uh, 
looks like Google's gonna be the one to do that because nobody's maintaining some of these Victorian houses. It's really sad. We used to party down here. It's crazy. Here, if not here, sometimes we party down here, right on the other side over there. Sometimes over there. It doesn't matter. We were just a bunch of teenage bums. We'd you know, throw our cans wherever. If it was glass, smash it tag up the place. We had graffiti everywhere. Everybody had their tag. I was Crowman. So they have information, informational guides over here to teach you about the Guadalupe and to tell you, explain why it's so important that you don't fish here during the winter. Between November and April, it's closed because the steelhead run. And uh, the environmentalists, of course, really, really want to protect that, but they don't really want to protect it against... Well, they want to protect it. I don't know, it's really confusing because they got, at the same time, they got all of this going on over here. So, oh my god, there's a duck down there. Well, I guess I found their garbage can. It's almost like a homeless flea market. I try, try so hard to, you know, not disturb anybody. Without making it seem like I'm trying to, you know, film their affairs and whatnot. Unfortunately, I do think the crow is kind of a distraction for most people who are going to look at me. Look at that. Wolf gang. This is what's become of your San Jose Guadalupe River Park and Garden. Your Guadalupe River. looks kind of inviting to be honest the way they got it all set up like that it's like redneck lifestyle this redneck lifestyle you might ask yourself why did you come this way the first time I did walk right past all of this this is the city of San Jose
people are providing a bathroom for them. This this is just a this is just a free for all parking lot. You can do whatever you want here. They have they're providing a bathroom for them. They have shade. There's nothing going on. Nobody's monitoring this at all. You paid for this, San Jose. Well, you guys, that's my San Jose. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If there was anything you saw that you liked, let me know. If you saw anything you saw that was just unacceptable, let me know. Thoughts and opinions on San Jose, 2020, September. I've been wanting to do this video for a long time and I've been putting it off and I'm really sorry that I haven't been uploading anything lately. A lot of things have happened. I don't want to throw out any excuses. I'm going to keep pushing through all this and try to bring you guys more content. And let me know if there's anything in San Jose that maybe you guys want me to check out and do an investigation on. Anyways, please like, subscribe, hit the bell button to be notified when there's a new video. I try to put out a video once a week, but you know, things happen. I'm not always able to get that to happen. I try. I'm really sorry about the break. I'll be getting back on it and be producing more content for you guys. Please, if you want more content like this, then give me a like. I do appreciate it. Come down to San Jose. Pay me a visit. Me and Morgan will be looking for you.